so let's see this file size buggy which computes file size of multiple files and which is not working so let's first see at a broad level let's just see how to debug it so let's compile it first And the moment you compile, you get these warnings and look at some warning assignment of care from care star. That means on one hand you have a care, on another hand you have a care star and you are assigning. Such warnings are almost always guaranteeing the code to crash or misbehave. Because these are like very, very dangerous warnings. If you have such warnings, you should not even try to run your code. You should fix it. So how do I debug a crash in GDB? Debugging a crash in GDB is extremely easy. You simply say GDB A dot out. You should have used minus G option as I did. Now you can simply run without any breakpoint. Why? Because when it crashes, it will anyway stop. So you can simply run. And now you know that it crashed at line number six. So we crashed here. Why we crashed here? First thing I can notice that I ran it just like A dot out. I never gave it the file name. So argv1 should be garbage. The other thing I can do is I can print the values. I can say what is argv1. Argv is 0x9. So let's look closely why argv could be wrong. Argv is wrong because we wrote the rc and argv in the reverse order. Ideally, I should have written int argc and char star argv. Please note that GDP helped me know that argv is wrong. So using GDP, I found that it has to be this order. So debugging crashes is easy. GDP, run, and then if you have function calls, you can do BT for backtrace and you can see the function call stack also. The other thing which you could have done for debugging is you could have run it under val grind. Right now I have fixed that crashing code. But had you done it under valgrind, it would have really pointed out those places where we access uninitialized values. We did invalid read or invalid write. So if, if your code is crashing, run it under GDB free flow, reach the point of crash, look at values of variables, relate with the code, or run it under valgrind. In all probability, something in the memory messed up. Valgrind will let you know. This is how to debug crashes.